It's going to make up the time I saved by using a Master Ball on Moltres. Uh, it's going to make up for that here by making me use every one of my Ultra Balls. Okay, I'm up here. There are supposed to be ruins that look like a house. Come on, man. This has to be it. Spirit tombs over here. I don't know, man. Am I going to have to look this one up, too? Hold on. I'm getting nowhere fast. Two seconds later! No, you're lying. Yeah, I went ahead and looked it up. Sorry. It's supposed to be over here somewhere. There it is. I've flown. So close to this. Man, that's some bull crap. I can't believe it took that long to find this thing.
it's got double edge, so it can knock itself out. Well, guess what? I'm not going to let you knock me out. You can't use double edge if I have a ghost out. almost thought it was going to give it to me the first one. I don't think Calyrex is in this game. Sort of weird. Calyrex was a kind of a neat Pokemon, but I felt like it really didn't end up being important enough. Like, oh, this it's the king of the tundra. I'm like, okay, what does it do? It's just a powerful Pokemon. It rides a horsey. Ah! Come on now. This is exactly the same situation I had Moltres in, except there's no weather to slowly whittle its uh, health down. And then I and now that I've got uh, Skeledurge out, I at least don't have to worry about it knocking itself out with double edge. And I don't guess it can heal itself like Ho-Oh was doing. I've just got to wait. Until it decides it's too tired to break out of the balls. Dang! I was sitting there trying not to nod off. fly over the same part of the mountain, you know, over and over and over again, it just does no good. It doesn't help that the rendering distance for these Pokemon models is, like, very close. You have to be almost right on them before they can be seen. Ah. It's going to make up the time I saved by using a Master Ball on Moltres. Uh, it's going to make up for that here. By making me use every one of my Ultra Balls. And then some. <laughs> I really do think it's time that, the, that Game Freak does an overhaul of how we catch Pokemon. The boss battles where you actually have to defeat the Pokemon before you can try to catch them is much more uh, preferable than just throw ball, throw ball, throw ball, throw ball, throw ball. I just.
I'd honestly like to bring back like the whole thing, like the dodging mechanic. Like, oh, you gotta dodge this creature's attacks before it will drop its guard enough to the point where you have to damage it. And then just depending on what Pokemon it is and how strong they are, the challenges will be more difficult. Going Ultra Ball. I mean, uh, Great Ball. Change things up on it. Nothing. Nothing again. Come on! It's ridiculous that you can get a Pokemon's health that low and have it paralyzed and then 20 Ultra Balls later it's still not enough. Gonna be here a while. Dude. Come on now. There should be a maximum rate of which, you know. At some point, if you if, if it doesn't give it to you before then, then you just, it automatically gives it to you. I have the item that increases your odds at a critical capture and, and just never seems to take effect for these battles. If you want to catch the most common Pokemon of all time, yeah, you can get a critical every time. You want to catch something that's a little bit more tricky to catch? Nope, you'll never get it. Taunting is not gonna save you. I can't get even, get even one single shake with the great balls. Come on. There, it gave me one. For laughs, let's use one of these. It's because I have 70 of them. <laughs> I may as well have just broke that with myself. Timer ball. I've, I've used so many uh, Ultra Balls by now. This should be effective. One, two, three. Hey! Hey! Time is on my side. Alright. So that nightmare is over. Uh, back to the candy man. <laughs>